Hey guys, I know you guys are missing the thrifting video, so I decided I'm gonna film one today. Don't mind my new hair. Um, first of all, it looks really bad today <laughs> because I just haven't washed it. But also, I had to cut it short because when I went to Bali, the chlorine absolutely destroyed my hair. And then I wasn't meaning to go so dark, but just because my hair used to be blonde, it really, really like absorbed all the color. So hopefully in a few washes, it will chill out a bit. But anyways, today we are going to be thrifting some stuff for summer honestly where I live it's been raining every day so like I don't know what kind of summer this is but hopefully we get a little bit of a heat wave later I think my vibe just still stays the same neutrals knits those kind of things we'll see what we find I tried to look for inspo before I went but then I couldn't really find anything I loved so we're just gonna wing it as usual so I'm really excited don't forget to follow my Instagram if you haven't already for outfit inspo and then also my TikTok because I've been styling a lot of things on there so if you want to see outfits put together check that out I'll put it in the description box below before we get into today's thrifting video I wanted to introduce our amazing sponsor whatnot if you haven't heard of whatnot before it is a live stream auction app where you can buy and sell thrifted goods basically sellers like me in this case can host live streams and sell whatever they want on it They're there's people selling rare stuff, there's people selling thrift goods, there's people actually taking you on thrift shopping sprees and they ask you which items you like and you can just buy it on the spot. So I would actually love to do that with you guys in the future because I think it would be so fun. So that exactly explains why I'm so excited to partner with them because in my next video I will be thrifting for you guys. I've collected a huge list of all the things you guys want and I'm gonna head to Value Village thrift them all and then you guys get to buy them during a live stream which is so fun because we get to interact live and you guys get to bid whatever you think the item is worth and it gets directly shipped to you right after the live stream so I think it's super awesome for example I will be probably selling this corset on there that I think is so cute and you guys can just start bidding at one dollar and go up from there and whoever wins wins and it's all yours to keep so I'm gonna have so much stuff to sell to you guys and I'm also going to be doing a giveaway so it's gonna be so fun so I hope you guys can join me on July 6 make sure you use my referral link down below in the description because you get $10 to use towards the bidding plus you get to download the app and be prepared for July 6 where we will go live together a couple things that you guys have wanted that I'm gonna be on the search for are cargo pants a lot of people ask for those midi skirts cargo skirts tube tops, halter tops, summer dresses, Italian summer vibes, a lot. You guys gave me a lot of options so I'm so excited to thrift for you guys. If you want something specific and you have a specific size, comment down below so I can find it for you. I literally can't wait to hang out with you guys and give you guys cute clothes because that's like a dream. Without further ado, let's get back into the thrifting video and I can't wait for you guys to see next week's video where I thrift for you guys. We're at the one and only Value Village. Let's get into thrifting for summer. I'm so excited. To be honest with you, my last couple hauls have been very big so I was trying to chill a bit on this this one I went to the swimsuit section to find skirts because my favorite mini skirt is literally a piece of swimwear and I found this blue one and this really really cute brown one I feel like leather is a bit unconventional for summer and that is exactly why I love it I found this long maxi skirt with some cool detailings on the trim and it was Ralph Lauren so I thought it was cool I found this micro skirt it was a fabric but it was giving denim vibes and I thought it had the potential to be very cute and then this skirt was giving me major New York energy. It is red, it is out of my comfort zone, but I decided to try it on anyways. This was a little cute blue slip skirt and I thought it is very cute and innocent for summer. And then I love big buckled belts right now, so this belt was perfect. And I'm just kind of obsessed with belts in general right now, so I picked up a bunch. Some of them were so overpriced though, like $29 for a thrifted belt, are you kidding me? But I ended up picking up some of these and they were very cute. I was looking for kind of a belt with these circles on it too, but these circles were a little bit too big. And then I found these sneakers. They're a bobble lot. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's a tennis brand I found out through TikTok. They were very cute, but I was questioning them. And then I saw these boots, which were pretty cute as well. And then these brown ones were actually stunning. So I decided to pick those up. This blue one shoulder top was giving me major 90s vibes and it felt like more of a workout material, which I thought was cool. So I 
pick that up and then you know me i'm always searching for random plain tank tops that just fit nice so i picked up this off black one and then we were just looking through the tops i found this cute little sundress it's actually from hollister but i thought it could have potential to be very cute still to be fair hollister was the it girl thing to do back in the day so i don't know what i was thinking picking this up it's very bright very not me i was kind of going off my neutral tone tracks today and picking up really bright stuff i found this really cool shirt with like ruching throughout it and i thought it was really unique and whenever i find unique pieces i like to pick them up because that's the point of thrifting you know i thought this red tank top had potential with the neckline i found this tube top dress with cute little lace trimming at the bottom which i thought had potential to be cute it was also very mini i picked up a couple of button-up shirts just to try on because i feel like they're really good for layering and you can never go wrong with having a good button-up and then i was on the hunt for a very specific type a dress just a soft fabric dress that i could wear a belt with with some knee-high boots and then i found my favorite t-shirt ever i've already worn it five million times since this video and it's this blue high neck le chateau t-shirt which you'll hear me talk about a lot in this video and then i found this gorgeous slip dress i feel like it was so beautiful so i decided to try it on and then my all-time favorite cargo shorts I finally found them. I saw another girl picking these up and thankfully she put them down so I grabbed them right away and then I found this camel hat and then I found the perfect pair of jeans. They were too small for me though and then this kid's camel shirt and then it was time to try everything on. I started off with my favorite pair of items which is these shorts and this t-shirt. I mean they just speak for themselves. They're both so beautiful and just fit perfectly and just have the best silhouette on the body. The cargo shorts are also low waisted and they're this kind of gray blue color which is just beautiful the next thing i ended up picking up was this camo baby tee i'm gonna cut it a bit to make it that length but it was so cute so you know i bought it and these were those jeans that looked perfect but did not fit and then this slip dress just wasn't for me honestly this knit shirt is pretty cute but i didn't end up getting it just because i have so many already honestly this dress is actually really cute and i kind of wish i got it but i I think I got thrown off because a creepy old man just started saying things to me when I was wearing it so I was like eh, no and then I love the color on this but I just don't like the fabric really this was giving me worn out vibes so I didn't end up picking it up but it's pretty cool then one of my favorite shirts very very cute love how bright of a color it is perfect for summer mostly I just love the fit of it I just think it's so cute this is that Hollister dress, very, very short. You could not wear this without shorts probably, like your butt will be coming out. And then this was giving me hospital gown, so it was a no from me. I ended up picking up this skirt even though it was out of my comfort zone just because I feel like with a baby tee it could be cute. And I did end up getting these sneakers too, I just don't show it in the hall because I forgot and they were downstairs. This skirt was too tight, it was the Ralph Lauren one, so I didn't end up picking it up. I just don't really like the fit of it. These leather shorts are kick-ass and i love them they give me badass vibes so i picked them up and i'm gonna pair them with that huge chunky belt i got earlier in the video i was considering this mini skirt but i don't need this much glue in my closet i know i won't wear it so i just left it behind even though it was really cute just because yeah I knew I wasn't gonna wear it much because of the color. This brown skirt was all right. I didn't really like the buckle. If it didn't have that belt, I would consider it. These boots were so cute but they were too small for me and I knew they're just gonna hurt. Oh, they're stunning though. I really, really do like them. Once again, this is that Levi belt I found and then I also ended up getting that white belt. I really, really wanted this camo hat, but it ended up being $5.99, so I was so pissed. Anyways, it's time for the haul, so let's get into it. Hey guys, so I'm gonna start this haul and show you guys what I got. I didn't get much this thrift trip. I kind of held myself back a little bit because I feel like my closet has been just true overflowing to the max so I just kind of need to chill a bit but the first thing is this skirt it's kind of like out of my comfort zone and not really my style but I decided to give it a shot because I feel like with a baby tee and like some boots it would be kind of cute and it was giving me like New York vibes if you know what I mean it was $12.49 they've also really raised the prices of Valley Village so 
yeah, it's pretty unfortunate, but this is the skirt, and I think it's pretty cute, honestly, especially, I feel like with this top, it kind of works, actually. Let me know what you guys think of this, and if you guys would potentially want it when I go and live stream on July 6th, because... I might be giving it away, I'm not sure. This is the next item. It is this belt. It was $3.99 and it's giving Chrome Hearts energy with the buckle here. I love big buckles right now. And it's actually Levi, so even better. I feel like it's really cool and I really love this one. Okay, next item are these leather shorts. I am obsessed with these. The only thing is that they make me sweat so much. I love these and they're literally so badass and cool. I'm obsessed. This is definitely one of my favorite finds of this trip. Okay, I actually love all of them. And because I kind of like narrowed down the haul when I went, I made sure I loved every single thing I got. So this is something I've already worn like three times, which is kind of ridiculous. And I just love the color with my new hair. And I don't know, it's just such a vibe. I love the high neck. It's vintage Le Chateau. And I don't know, vintage Le Chateau sometimes hits. And then the next fave are these cargo shorts. They're like kind of a gray blue and again i'm so obsessed with these um they just fit perfectly they're not too baggy or anything like these are the cargo shorts i've been wanting they actually roll up and buckle up to be like that short so if you're not feeling like the totally long to the knee vibe you can also do this which i think i prefer i really like this length next is this kids camo tee i think it's so cute it's brand new with the tags on and i think i'm gonna cut it to kind of go to there because I feel like it's a little, just a tad too long but I'm vibing with it camo is everything right now it has been everything for a while if you guys have watched my hauls I've been buying camo for a minute now but I'm still in the wave for summer okay this is the next top this is like a workout or bathing suit top but it is so cute I love the one shoulder I love the color I think blue is a thing with dark hair I don't know I feel like it's a vibe and I don't know I just Again, love this top. I went on this thrift trip probably like last week and usually by this time I'm like regretting some of my decisions but the only thing I'm on the fence about is the skirt. But besides that, I love everything. Like, how could I say no to this top? And I love it when like tops are super tight fitting because then I don't have to wear a bra and it's just a vibe. Anyways, that is all for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, next Sunday I'm thrifting for you guys and I will be giving some of the stuff away and selling the rest on the app called Whatnot, which is who sponsored this video. So don't forget to download the app so you guys are ready and prepared for that using my referral link below because you got $10 towards your first purchase. So yeah, I'm really excited to go live with you guys and just be able to talk to you guys in real time and I think it's going to be so fun so don't miss out and i'll see you guys next sunday when i thrift for you guys love you bye